Okay, we'd like to demonstrate to you the installation and use of power coil wire thread inserts. What we have here is a demonstration kit covering M6 by one pitch. So in the kit we have a paddle with holes, some have already been pre-tapped to the screw thread insert size. We also have the handle to the paddle which obviously is recessed here and can sit nicely there and screwed into place. We have the two screws. Also in the kit is two spacers which we'll show you the use of in a little while. What we've done with this paddle here is with these two holes here they've been pre-tapped out to a wire thread insert size for M6 and then we've installed wire thread inserts in them so we've incorporated the use of the product actually in the demonstration. So you just put the handle on, screw the bolts down, of course you can tighten them up through the socket head there but of course that gives you then a lot of leverage to be able to use this demonstration kit. On the end here you'll see a bigger insert which is an M14 by 1.25 spark plug thread and you can see if you zoom in there how the insert is actually bigger than the tapped hole so when the insert goes in there it actually compresses against the wall of the parent material and therefore locking it in, locking it in place and essentially that is how a wire thread insert works and how it retains its position. Okay, also in the kit we have a spanner, we have an extraction tool, an installation tool, and then the tang brake tool. Also some M6 by 1 pitch by 2D length, which is 12mm length of wire thread inserts, and some fasteners, which are grade 8.8. Okay, so a wire thread insert, you can see there the little hook on the end is called the tang. That always points down towards the installation and it's very important to know that when you are installing it you get the installation tool and the point and the tang is pointing downwards. So the tang uh, sits at the, through that slot on the end of the installation tool. The collar here it's adjustable, so you just pick up your screwdriver, adjust the little grub screw, push it down, and the ideal position for a wire thread insert is to ensure that the driving tang is positioned about halfway down that slot, not right on the bottom, because that all that will do is when you put pressure on the insert, it will stretch the insert and make it harder to install. Not too close to the end, because as the insert installs into the hole and stretches and follows the, the thread form of the tapped hole, it will stretch and fall off the end of the tool. So the ideal position is to have it about halfway down that slot. And you tighten up the grub screw. And so now you've set your tool up, ready to install the insert. The best thing to do then is simply apply some downward pressure so you feel the first thread start to wind in and once that happens it just follows the tapped thread form all the way through. As the collar is getting closer to the parent material you can just slow down a bit and have a look. Ideal depth for installing an insert is about one to one and a half turns below the surface. Might be a bit hard to see, but um, that's pretty good. Okay, so once we've installed that, the idea then is to break that driving tang off so you can put your bolt in. Tang brake tool. And there we have our driving tang. And we can wind a bolt straight into that brand new thread. Okay. So 
Now that we've seen how to install the insert, and as you can see it's a very simple process, unlike some other um, threaded insert repairs, um, there's, there's only four steps and that's drilling, tapping, installing and breaking the tang and you're pretty much done. So now we'll use this spacer that we talked about before, put it over the bolt, wind the fastener in. The idea of the spacer is simply to assist the bolt in breaking above the surface of the material, easier to get the bolt out, and you just keep tightening up the fastener until something happens. All bolts are rated to a certain torque level, and um, of course once they're installed to that le level there's no need to do much else. In this occasion we kept winding until it broke. You can see we can get the fastener out and then quite simply wind in a brand new one. And that clearly indicates that under normal circumstances in soft aluminium bar that a tightening up a bolt that much would strip the threads out of the, the parent material but with a wire thread insert in there, a stainless wire thread insert, you've actually created a stronger thread, you've protected the thread from that damage. We've shown you how to install an insert, we've broken off the tang, we've indicated how well they work and how strong they are and how they create a much stronger thread. If on the odd occasion you need to pull an insert out then you can use this ex extraction tool. It's got a triangular head and the edges are beveled so by putting it into the hole and pushing down fairly hard you can actually grab the first couple of threads and you can start to wind the insert out. Provided the insert is not been installed too deep of course. If it has been installed too deep the easiest way to do it is to get a, a, a very fine pick and perhaps pull the and just pick at the first thread and then a pair of pointy nose pliers and you'll be able to just pull the insert out of the hole. And there we go. And there's no reason why you can't just get another insert now and install that straight into the hole provided you haven't done too much damage to the, the opening of the hole.